This movie will provide an overview of Enroute's Auto Toolpath features. Auto Toolpath, or ATP, is the process of taking layered DXF files and assigning a toolpath to each of the layers based upon the specific name. Once all the layers of each part are toolpath, the objects are grouped and nested together with other shapes that belong in the same material. And Route will create as many layers of each type of material that are necessary to produce all the parts. When a parametric design program is used to create the layered DXF files, the program will create a cut list that describes all the parts and something about them. That makes it easy to select all the parts for the job. When no design application is used and parts are being created manually, you have to add each of the parts separately. For this example, and to show how an easy in route is, we're going to use parts from a cabinet design program, which means we can select them using a cut list. To get started, I've selected my cabinet design program, and now I'm going to the add list file. I'll, I'll use a smaller job for the first example, and the next step after selecting the job would be to load my auto toolpath configuration. So I've loaded my parts and I've loaded all my layer and ordering and, and nesting information. The last thing I would have to do is come here and make sure that the file name and output path are, corre are correct and once this information is correct I can hit process. This will take all the parts, toolpath them and nest them with other pieces that belong in the same material. For this job, which was a small one, we have two different layers, three quarter melamine and one quarter melamine. In addition to each of these parts, we've we can create printouts for each of the sheets to show where the parts are, and we can create labels. This is an example of the printout that would match the, the nested sheet on the other page. And this is an example of the labels that can be created with the label option. Now let's do a little bit more complicated piece. So I'm going to come here to the KCDW tab, clear this away, and add a different list file. This job has 51 parts, and all the information for each of the parts changes. Here in the Define Layers tab, we have a list of all the layer names in our DXF files, and we have the type of toolpath that's applied to each one of them. That's how we are able to apply a different type of toolpath within each part. A few other parameters determines the type of output that's created. In the ordering and nesting tab, we make sure we do the drills and internal components before the cutouts. We specify the amount of rotation and the spacing and determine the plate size. So once you get this process going, it's a pretty simple process of just loading your cut list, loading the ATP file, setting your output file name, and hitting process. Right here you see that we're creating the output files, which means that after we've processed this, we're going to be ready to start cutting parts. We're creating a printout for each of the layers so we know where all the DXF files are in the, in the output. And, we're, and if we have the label option selected, we can create a label for each of these parts. Labeling works in conjunction with the cut list, so it's typically only used when a cabinet design program or some other program macro is used. Here we can see we've created the output files and they are now ready to cut on the machine. We have several different files for each material. If I come here to Enroute, I can actually take a look at each of these layers and, right, and see that each of them represents a different material. So we have seven layers of half inch plywood, four layers of quarter inch plywood, and two layers or two sheets of three quarter melamine. This process is used commonly with cabinet design and, and closet design programs, but it can also be used for almost any other application where a simplified toolpath would be beneficial. The nesting takes place automatically and, and together with the reduced cut time and the reduced processing time, auto toolpath is a great productivity tool. This concludes the explanation of Auto Toolpath 